Dr. Adam Bernard Brashear, born in Alabama, was an All-American fullback at Cornell University and graduated with academic honorific for electrical engineering as well as earning a PhD in theoretical physics, which he next went on to join the Marine Corps, where he met his best friend, Connor Sims, who he saved along with his sergeant and another soldier by carrying them off to safety after being severely injured during an ambush in a hot zone in Korea which he'll go on to earn two silver star medals for his bravery. Sadly, back at the Naval Amphibious Base, he still received racism from a couple of his peers, which would not go unpunished as him and Connor would deal with the scumbags accordingly, because Connor took racism personally, ever since his brother, who was an FBI agent, got killed by the Klan during an undercover operation. Later, Adam would become a military scientist stationed in Little Creek, North Carolina, creating a new energy source by harnessing antimatter, while Connor was present since he was now part of Army Intelligence who was funding the project. When suddenly Adam's negative reactor exploded during a test run, killing everybody but the two friends, who miraculously survived as Connor pulled Adam to safety before he was abruptly disintegrated, and then brought rapidly back and carried off by Adam, which was after revealed the exposure of the explosion caused Adam to become himself a stable antimatter reactor, while Connor, who was in a coma for a month, reform into an unstable one, spending 10 months trapped in the neutral zone before coming back again, which affected his mind, causing him to have strong convictions and expanding his consciousness to wanting to forcefully change the world into some kind of utopia, even if it meant killing to do so. However, Adam will build a special type of white crystal helmet that amplifies energy and aid in concentration and memory to help Connor control his visions. Meanwhile, Adam will go on to become the magnificent master of might, Blue Marvel and build an underwater sanctuary in the Mariana Trench called the Kadash Base before fighting Neymar the Samariner who thought he was up no good but became best of friends after. Furthermore, Blue Marvel will stop a meteor the size of Arkansas from wiping out Earth's entire existence. Also, retrieve the US Enterprise that was damaged in the Pacific Ocean. In addition, safely remove the hydrogen bomb into space which then blew up in his hand. Coincidentally, Blue Marvel's biggest challenge will happen in New York when he fought his best friend, who was now deranged and going by the name Anti-Man, in a cataclysmic battle where Anti-Man was letting off a high level of gamma radiation, being that he was a living negation link, an unstable bridge between the negative zone and positive universe, drawing power from a dimensional connection of the two, which could annihilate the planet in his mission to force the world to love one another. And when the dust had finally settled, with Anti-Man being defeated, he beforehand intentionally tore off parts of Blue Marvel's mask so Blue Marvel could see how the world would react to their beloved hero actually being a black man. Which wasn't good, as the people turned on him in a matter of months, even after he saved 16 children from a burning orphanage. White people threw rocks and bottles while hurling racial insults at him. Next, cop shoots him, bullet ricochets, and kills an old woman, they blame him for it. Even some of his own people turned on him for not leading the revolution to slaughter the oppressors. Nevertheless. An executive order was mandated by the President of the United States and the Blue Marvel Protocol was created as the world wasn't ready for a superpower black man that could lay waste to a continent. In a, in a Jim Crow era where segregation is the norm, which not only that Blue Marvel made people uncomfortable, the veteran scared the living crap out of them, including the US Department of Defense, so his service was no longer required as he was forced into retirement effective immediately but not before he was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom for their gratitude. Later, opportunity would strike when the government had one last chance to just end the existence of Blue Marvel altogether, when they received a signal at the edge of the solar system of an extremely powerful creature headed towards Earth to lead an invasion. So the government sent in Blue Marvel, hoping not only he would neutralize the threat, but also die in the process in his final mission. So the government could achieve two desired things by doing a single action. Nevertheless, Blue Marvel in intense battle defeated the hostile threat by increasing his energy output. Succeeding this and now on the moon, visibly upset about the executive order, Blue Marvel in a fit of rage almost split the moon in half when he, when he was suddenly approached by Uatu, the Watcher, a powerful alien being whose job was to watch all over the universe but forbidden to interact as he resided on the blue area of the moon. However, he still went on to counsel the fed up hero when all of a sudden, the alien armada had arrived to take over Earth. So Blue Marvel swung into action 
to stop the invading force from enslaving mankind or possibly eradicating the human species just to replace it with their own. And after great success, Blue Marvel went on to befriend the Watcher as a new ally. Meanwhile, the Pentagon was plotting some more with a cover up by using part of what happened in space to announce to the world that Blue Marvel had indeed died in battle. As they next secretly sent out Agent 314 Marlene Frazier from South West Point, Mississippi, codenamed Candace, as a government plant and professional manipulator so she could seduce Adam in order to keep a close eye on him and report what she found back to the government. But first, she had to get up on her black history by reading every book on black culture that was written by a black author along with documentaries before it was time to put in work acting like a damsel in distress needing help after her car had stalled out in Georgetown. Moreover, after a few short weeks in their relationship, Candace began to feel empathy for Adam and her love began to blossom the more time they spent together which got in the way of her assignment as the government took notice and gave up after 18 months. Later, Candace's love for Adam was sealed when he ignored a couple of racist scumbags that were against their interracial relationship. When Adam could have easily crushed them with just the nail of his pinky finger. Unsurprisingly, they would later get married and Adam would secretly go incognito to fight the supernatural in the underworld. Teaming up with Luke Cage's father, homicide detective James Geary Lucas, along with Constance Molina, a reporter, the daywalker Blade, Kalu, the master of black magic, and a woman calling herself the bear because she can transform into a ferocious bear at will as they form the a mighty Avengers and stop the mysterious beings called the Death Walkers from destroying the world by retrieving a mystical talisman. Furthermore, Candace who was aging slowly due to long term exposure to Adam's powers would go on to have three children with him. Adrian Brashear who would graduate from Spelman College and become a doctor, Max Brashear who would graduate from Howard University and become a scientist as well as their first son Kevin Brashear who would go on countless adventures with his father. One of them being when the super scientists intercepted the strange and uncanny dangerous being that tried to unsuccessfully exit Earth's reality several times but again stopped when our heroes used an antimatter gun powered by Adam. Moreover, they would one day head to a subterranean base in Egypt where they would once again battle the evil Dr. Avid Scorpion who planned to use a portal into the neutral zone to tear reality apart due to dimensional feedback until Kevin punched Avid who fell into the control panel thus shorten the system out and expanding the portal sadly sucking Kevin in while disintegrating Scorpion causing Adam to forever lose his son. A unspecified amount of time would go by when Anti-Man would suddenly emerge once again this time in the modern era leveling New York and defeating the Avengers consistent of powerhouses Ares the God of War, She-Hulk, Invincible Iron Man, Miss Marvel and the Golden One Century to continue his diabolical mission to purify mankind when luckily for the Avengers sake he suddenly dissipated back within the neutral zone and our heroes would be left with more questions than answers which later their investigation into identifying who Anti-Man was and his connection to Blue Marvel will lead them to the sad truth of the government cover up to bury the existence of an extremely powerful black man that could save the world or break it. Meanwhile, the current government was aware of the crisis and quickly went to the home of Adam but found his wife instead, revealing to her they knew her little secret, which she knew what she had to do next. Calling her husband who was working as a physics professor at the University of Maryland to urgently come home. And after 40 years of marriage, Candace finally revealed her true identity and the conspiracy to keep him under government tabs which devastated Adam who felt betrayed by his own wife and heartbroken so he next left to collect his thoughts on the surface of the moon when he was after approached by his old friend Uatu who once again counseled him with deep thoughts as Adam knew he had to take up his superhero mantle elsewhere Anti-Man was once again brought back to our reality this time emerging in Africa's Sierra Desert while Adam was answering Iron Man's call at a shield helicarrier above New York, being brief about the current situation and circumstances, as well as the apologetics from the Avengers for what he had to go through. However, Adam, not in the mood for sympathy, left after to make one last stop and made his way to the Atlantic Ocean to his old sanctuary at the very bottom of the sea, where his costume lay dormant, waiting for the day 
he would return for it. When he suddenly encountered his old friend, Namor, and started reminiscing about the old days, as well as the current. And then Namor reminded Adam that his choice to follow the orders of the government was irresponsible and morally wrong, as he did a disservice to his own people, and also revealed to him he battled alongside the Tuskegee Airmen, famously known as the Red Tails, and that himself also received discrimination from his own Atlantean people for looking different and being a half-breed, but never turned his back on them once, because he knew a lot of them needed him the most. Unsurprisingly, Adam became the Man of Marvels once again, and headed to the moon when he suddenly was attacked by Anti-Man. And after the two went back and forth about their motives, while Blue Marvel was attempting to coerce him into repenting, Anti-Man will go on to knock Blue Marvel out, then head to Earth and start creating horrific devastating antimatter storms across the globe, which caused the negative zone to open into their positive universe. Soon after, Blue Marvel will be back in action, but surprisingly this time being attacked by the Avengers, who was attempting to stop him from causing a world-ending event by attaching his powers with Anti-Man to cause a negative reaction that will end him. As he next went on to hit Sentry, with a one hit acquitter, Scott uppercut into space after being attacked with a barrage of blows from him. The Avengers, now visibly shocked at what just happened to Sentry, still attempted to put up a losing fight against Blue Marvel until Sentry came back rushing and at supersonic speeds crashing down from orbit to land on top of him, which after a few seconds from the initial devastating impact, Blue Marvel will collapse into a coma. Now at the Baxter building, Sue Storm would bring in his wife to be at his side while he was recovering in a stasis tube, which he would eventually break out of not long after, and then go on to reconcile with his wife, while admitting he was wrong for letting racial tension stop him from doing what was needed, and also admitting Namor was right, as he next went off to save the world, leaving his wife behind, which after, the Avengers now had no choice but to let Blue Marvel command the dire situation, as he gave each of them orders to follow, one of them particularly being for the wasp and yellow jacket to contain the perimeter and protect the civilians in order to help him take down Anti-Man. However, during the final phase, tragedy would strike when Candace would enter the battlefield, rushing to her husband's side, only for Anti-Man to intentionally fatally hit, hit her with a beam of antimatter, turning her into crispy bacon as she would go on to sadly pass away in the arms of her husband, which officially sealed the fate of Anti-Man. And after a fierce battle, and the fact that Blue Marvel's powers were linked with Anti-Man, he decided to sink his energy and release a large amount of positive plasma charge that would initiate a chain reaction causing Anti-Man to implode, while Blue Marvel would then contain the explosion and dissipate the energy out into outer space, ending the chaos that was Anti-Man. A week would go by when Adam buried his beloved wife. And Tony Stark would pay his respects and give out his condolences while offering Adam a spot on the Avengers, which he would decline. Moreover, Adam would later find a handwritten letter from his wife to him at their home, and a package with a new costume that he would don, as Adam, the legend of Blue Marvel. As time progressed, Blue Marvel would next be seen at his Kadash base in deep thought, speaking with Uatu about the new superhero atmosphere he wasn't used to, with the politics and behaving and keeping in good taste when he abruptly received a level 12 threat warning on his satellite monitor of the psychotic but extremely powerful King Hyperion, whose goal is to wreak havoc across time and space in order to rule over the cosmos as a god, as he already dominated other alternate versions of the likes of Thor, Sentry, Hulk, Eternals, and even Blue Marvel himself. Subsequently, Blue Marvel couldn't hold back his punches on this one and let loose giving the supervillain all he had, eventually putting him down as he was next celebrated by the people of Uzbekistan for saving them. So Blue Marvel went on to do charitable works in Haiti. Niño fait la force. Ecuador, Bordeaux, Patia Libotati. Paris, Futura Nignagi Tu. And Singapore, Marula Singapore. Succeeding this, Blue Marvel will now be living in his underwater base, investing all his time on studying the neutral zone and finding a way to bring his son Kevin back since his other children had moved out of the family home. Soon after, when Proxima Midnight of Thanos Black Order was fighting the Avengers before she abruptly left, she used her black light spear that acts and operates like a star, supernova, and black hole all at once to critically injure Monica Rambeau, aka Spectrum, 
And to make matters worse, the Lord of Chaos and Master of the Extra Dimensional Gods, Shimagorth, had arrived, but was quickly and temporarily defeated by the Blue Bomber of Battle, Blue Marvel, as he next went on to heal Monica from the anti-photons that was eating away her photons, which was an anomaly. But nevertheless, she was good to go and back to action. Later at the Kadash, the Avengers would have one of their members, either Ayala, the White Tiger, contained, since her powers were growing out of control, which Blue Marvel approved. And after he gave a brief history lesson to the new Young Avengers roster, he received a level N emergency alert, which means neutral zone energy was detected in the Pacific Ocean, and the German terrorist organization he previously defeated was behind it. So he teleported out his jellyfish shaped drone portal from his base with She-Hulk and Spectrum to the surface to quickly get to their destination, which was a volcano base ran by the mysterious evil scientist Dr. Positron, who activated an energy type force field that also blocked light to keep She-Hulk and Spectrum trapped within, so he could reveal his true identity, which was none other than Blue Marvel's youngest son himself, Max, who was funded by the now demolished terrorist group and was angry with his father for letting his mother die and also causing his older brother to be lost in the neutral zone forever. So Max next let his father bear witness to what he couldn't do and that was to use the volcano they were on as a power source to his geothermal energy plant that would crack the barrier to the neutral zone and bring back his brother using his quantum computers which wouldn't work due to dimensional feedback and Adam already unsuccessfully attempting the brute force method before. And now Kevin was hideously enlarged and distorted when entering our reality because his physical structure had changed due to being in a neutral zone for so long. So sadly, they had no choice but to send him back because he was now an unstable ticking antimatter bomb that would go off. And to make matters worse, Adam would find out by Reed Richards that his best friend Uatu was tragically killed, which later it will be revealed he was shot for the secrets his eyes contained by a group of supervillains. However, he survived the initial attack, but it was when 616 Nick Fury showed up wanting answers. And being that Uatu's sacred vow was to only observe and not interfere, Nick Fury killed him for his other eye in order to find out what the supervillains were planning. Coincidentally, Nick Fury would later die in a self-sacrificing move to redeem himself. Nevertheless, Adam would be summoned to the moon by Yulana the Watcher, Uatu's wife, who, who took him to her and Uatu's home to present to him her and Uatu's newborn child, that she granted him the honor of being its godfather, while nurturing it with his antimatter pulses so it could form. Thereafter, Adam would continue his mission to search for his son in the neutral zone with his new exploration armor that allows him to enter for brief periods at a time as he was being assisted by Spider-Man and Monica Rambeau in his science fortress. And suddenly after, Spider-Man was battling Max, who unexpectedly came out the base's portal. And when Adam couldn't get them to stop fighting, it was Monica who had to step in and defuse the situation using her powers. As they all next sat down like mature adults with a newfound understanding of one another and began to discuss the current situation and their next move to retrieve Kevin. And now that father and son were finally working together, they would manage to achieve their lifelong goal even if it was just for a few seconds when Kevin miraculously emerged from the neutral zone but quickly left since he was now one with the realm and couldn't stay long, which was a major disappointment and if that wasn't something, soon after, Adam and Monica were furious with T'Challa and Reed Richards about keeping the world ending encouraging phenomenon a secret amongst their Illuminati group. And now the world had less than an hour before the alternate Earths collide, which luckily nothing will come from it. But only the merger of two universes and Blue Marvel being offered by T'Challa a spot on the superhero space task force called the Ultimate, who was tasked with looking into and taking on the ultimate threats, like turning Galactus, the devourer of worlds, into Galactus, the bringer of life, which the gladiator of the Shi'ar Empire was hating because they couldn't accomplish that feat. Next, our heroes would assess the damage to the time stream and headed into deep space towards the edge of the Andromeda galaxy and into the space between universes before breaking through the neutral zone when they would surprisingly run into, believe dead, Connor Sims, the Anti-Man. So they next got out their spacecraft wearing the Exploration Armors Mark 13s to confront him which Adam immediately began to attack 
as Connor seemed to be suffering from irrational anxiety and couldn't recall the atrocities he had prior committed. And when Adam was on the verge of taking him out, he was shockingly stopped by his son, Kevin, who went on to rationalize with his father to spare Connor and showed him he's partly responsible for Connor's mental condition. After creating the helmet that resonates with certain energy frequencies, so our heroes next took him back to their ship and eventually contained him at the Trescalian headquarters, where they would later defeat Thanos at. Furthermore, Adam and Monica Ramboa will become a couple and start dating. That being said, Adam Brashear is Marvel's The Magnificent Master of Might, Blue Marvel.